Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is out there when we upload new content. All right, y'all, we're getting right to it. Shy City, Shy Town, you got something to cheer for. Mm-hmm. The Bulls made some moves, man. Yeah, Zach Levine got another All Star. Yeah, man. Yeah, boy, your chick is there now. Yep. Kobe White, pick and pop. Yeah, man. Um, Billy Donovan got players that fits the system, but mm-hmm. we'll start with the players they picked up. So we got boy, your chick. We got um, Aminu, uh, Alfred Aminu. Um, this moves allows uh, marketing to probably slide to the four. Let's not forget Daniel Tice from. Celtics Yeah Only thing they're missing Is what Probably a Conventional point guard A point guard um, Not a, they, they just need a ge- Floor general Floor general yeah Yeah That's gonna run that offense And But At the same time I believe Zach Levine As much as the ball Is in his hands I believe that he can Cause he played some point Before mm-hmm. And with the ball in his hands And the offensive threat That he is And now he got a, Another A weapon like Boyakich, them in the pick and roll, or pick and pop, or even the handoff. I mean, that's that's because he's explosive. Yeah, Zach Levine is like he he's definitely progressed over yeah. the last two years. Only thing with him from watching, I just hope that he takes that next step with the maturity to know that you're no longer playing for like. Lottery picks now. Right. Now you got another All Star. Now the next step is the winning playoffs. basketball. Winning basketball, yeah. and I need you to take quality shots mm. and don't shoot the team out the game. At Fading times. away, yeah. taking bad shots at the in, in the third and fourth and the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. You know that. But at this point, when you got Voyager on your team now, another All Star, those shots is not necessary. Mm. And I believe that he can make that adjustment. He's very happy to have voyage. And he said he has said it. And he's very professional on the players that's going out. But he's not stupid. He knows what he got. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they looking good, man. So if you could, right now they're probably at the uh, Tim C. So I think they're probably like a game and a half from the eighth spot. Mm-hmm. But if the play-in started today, they meet the threshold, they would be in there. Would mm-hmm. you be frightened if you're any of the other teams? Yeah, better be. Yeah, all right. Tell me why. I just told you why Zach Levine <laughs> and Voyage, <Boyer laughs> and then and then That's on top real. of that you got Garrett Temple, mm-hmm. who's I, I really like mm-hmm. coming coming off that bench, um, marketing who should be starting probably. Mm-hmm. I believe that Voyage is the key that open unlocks him. Yeah, you know because he he's potential, right yeah. as a four, not, not having to play fives and all that. And and because he got backup behind him, you know, then and Denzel Valentine is there. Valentine, you got you got Patrick Williams, Kobe. I mentioned yeah, Kobe yeah White. Thaddeus Young. He's I a mean, pro. Yeah. yeah, I mean, oh, you ask, do would they want to play him? No, I don't think so. I don't think most teams in the play in would want to play a team like that. Mm. That's a thing that that on paper and what we know, if. Voyages put the ball in the bucket. He, 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 he gets buckets. You know what I mean? And then, then they not just that, but they got they picked up a um uh 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 Tice. Yeah, from Boston. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at okay, there's only look at other teams that put up the type of uh, other players that put up those kind of stats. Twenty and twelve. Voyages, you're talking about. Right, okay. so you go into you got Joker, mm-hmm. MB, yeah, yeah. That's about it. Like, yeah, when you think about it, yeah. The Bulls just picked up the other player that does that, mm-hmm. right? So you got that to go along with Zach Levine. Zach Levine, and I mean. To me, he's in his prime now. He's not coming into his prime. 
I believe he's in his prime now. He just haven't had. I mean, those dudes wasn't really that they traded wasn't really helping them. Mm-hmm. And to get Voyage, that's huge. Now it is. That means that because Chicago for so long, major market has been in the basement. So they're back. They're back. They're back. Yeah. They're, they're definitely on on the right path. Mm-hmm. If I could say, I think they were probably finished. Probably maybe. Between the six and seven C, I don't think they'll need to play in. Uh, that's what I'm, I think they're gonna make a run. Yeah, it, it just depends on Fukic hurry up and get to the team. Mm-hmm. They get some practice in and start playing games together. Yeah, they can move up. They can move up. Yeah, because the East, like well, both conferences, you you lose two games, you can go from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I think they're like three games out of being in there in the eighth, eighth spot. Game and a half. I get, it's a game and a half. Game, I believe it's a game and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So I, I I I like what the Bulls did. They made a big move. To me, they're one of the teams on the trade deadline that. And and we're not used to the Bulls making these type of moves. Now it's been a while, man. Yeah. That that this was a good move, and not getting rid of. Important pieces, yeah, and it, and it satisfies your star player. Like now, he's probably even if free agency is approaching, mm-hmm. he's thinking twice now. Like you know, maybe they, Look, we a, have something here. Yeah. Only the thing about that is, you got an, it's two more seasons before he's free agent, and um, boy, could just thirty. He'll be thirty-two mm-hmm. by the time it's time. And but now you have that on his head. Levine's head because everybody's talking about Bill and free agency, but Levine free agency, that's huge. Yeah. And now he has something to say. Well, I want to be here. Yeah, major because, market. Right. Got another All Star. Another All Star. Billy Donovan is a pretty good coach. One pulling up Patrick Williams, who's just a rookie, and I like what he what he brings to the table. And if he develops quickly, mm-hmm. the Bulls could be dangerous. They can be, man. But because it, he's already, as a rookie, Patrick Williams. He's already, a, a, what would you call, one of those 3 and D that everybody's looking for. Mm. And for him to be the third, if he can turn into be that third star that they have, because you got that is who's solid. Mm-hmm. And even marketing, if marketing go back to what, he appeared to be headed to. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, yeah. that's enough. You know, that's, so ain't no telling. And Kobe White, I believe that Kobe White working off a of voyage is gonna be nice because yeah. he's not a floor general, but you put something like voyage next to him, Levine on the floor, and the rest of these other weapons, he could look like a floor general. Yeah, without being one. That's a valid point. That, that that's because he has the IQ. Yeah. And, and with the other rosters, a lot of them were asked to do more than what they. He he's still gotta, young, like, but he got to stop looking to just score. Yeah. You know, he's a he, he look look like he, but Kobe White look like he's looking to score more than he is looking to facilitate. Yeah. Facilitate. I believe that now, if he can adjust that game up a little bit, look to get the ball in the right places. And score, and when it's necessary, put scoring last. I believe it'll be fine. All right, well, there you have it, man. I don't have much more to say, man. I'm just excited for the people of Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, man. When they feel great like, trade, able to fill up that United Center. Yeah. To see some quality basketball. It's mm-hmm. great to see that they made that next step from a potential lottery team to get an additional All Star. Now you're currently in the play in. I think we think they're going to make a playoff spot. So it's a great time for Chicago, man. I, I think things are going to look well. Well, yeah. look good. Yeah. All right, man. So anything else you need to add? Congratulations, Bulls, man. I know they have been waiting. Welcome back, Shy City, man. This, yeah. <laughs> this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Once again, make sure you leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about the Bulls move. What are your projections that going going forward in this season? Sure you like the video as well subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell that way you know we upload new content we're here for y'all man this is team force entertainment the podcast have a good weekend peace